Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name's Jackie and I'm the owner of My Soigne. Today I'm going to show you how I do my full styling wash day routine from start to finish. So let's get started. So first things first when we're gonna wash our hair is obviously we gotta wet it. I'm going to use my wet brush to just detangle. Next, I'll be using the My Soigne Hair Cleanser and the My Soigne Cleanser Brush. Sadly, I'm using a little two ounce jar of my hair cleanser because my eight ounce jar is in my bathroom upstairs and I'm trying not to disturb baby girl. So I just grabbed a little two ounce jar for down here. I'm gonna take a glob of my hair cleanser and I'm actually just gonna put it on my cleanser brush. Normally I would just dip my cleanser brush in my jar, but again, I'm using a two ounce jar. So I'm trying to be a good mama. And I just massage that in like so. So the hair cleanser does not lather because there are no sulfates um, and there's no added ingredients specifically for a lather. It cleans your scalp with apple cider vinegar, tea tree oil, peppermint oil. It is an anti-inflammatory because of the turmeric. Um, and then it moisturizes with jojoba oil and aloe vera juice, but there's no lather. And it actually also exfoliates your scalp because of the jojoba beads that are in there. Since it doesn't lather, um, figured the jojoba beads would kind of give you that extra scrubby feeling that you might desire from a, a product that washes. Now, again, I'm going to take my wet brush and I'm just going to brush it through. So I'm going to put all the hair I'm shedding on the wall so you can see how much I'm losing. So far, it's not too bad. All right, I got this. You can't even see it. Put it here. So now I'm going to just let the hair cleanser sit on my scalp and my hair for about five minutes and then I'm going to wash it out. So see you in five minutes. Okay guys, so it's been about five minutes and I'm just going to rinse the hair cleanser out of my hair. Next thing I am going to do is I am going to add in my new and up and coming product, my protein cream. Clearly I use it frequently because so it's almost empty. The protein cream has a similar consistency to the regular hair cream, but it has of course active protein ingredients like hydrolyzed wheat protein, babao protein, oat milk, um, rice, quats, um, and things of that nature that are supposed to help fortify and strengthen your hair. It was something I felt like I really needed uh, when I was experiencing a lot of postpartum hair loss. So that was kind of the need for the hair cream. I am just gonna take some hair cream and I'm going to apply it to my head and then I will leave that on for about five minutes or so. So when I'm applying the protein cream, I actually do mix it with some water. You always want water to be the first ingredient in your hair products. Because really that's what you wanna hydrate your hair with. Think about like when you're thirsty, um, when your face feels dry, anything like that, you give it yourself water. And it's the same for your hair. When your hair is dry and thirsty, really need some water. The product just kind of helps fortify and seal in the hydration from the water. Protein cream is in. Like I said, I'm gonna let this sit in my hair again for another like five minutes or so, and then I'll rinse it out and we'll get to styling. Hey everybody, so I just rinsed out the protein cream and now I'm gonna actually get to styling, which is what I think you're actually all here to see anyway. So here we go. To style, I'm going to use the My Soigne Hair Cream. I'll use that first. And then I will follow up with the My Soigne Flaxy Gel, which I am clearly running out of. I need to replenish my own stash. So. 
So have you ever wondered whether I actually use my own products? I do. It's all I really use. To style, I am now actually going to flip my hair upside down. Flipping upside down and I am just going to brush my hair. And also you just want to make sure your hair is wet. You style your hair while it's soaking wet, you will get more definition. First, I am going to use the My Sonia Hair Cream. So I'm starting off with a glob, rubbing it between my hands, and I am just raking it through my hair. I'll take another glob for this side. Now I'm going to use the Flaxy Gel. Here and I'm going to do the same thing. Taking a glob, I don't think you can see because it's clear. And just raking it through. Look how much my hair is already clumping. I'm going to take another glob and just do this one. And I'm just going to take some water and I'm going to scrunch it into my hair. Because again, water quenches the thirst of our dry hair. And the product just helps fortify and seal our hair with nutrients that we don't otherwise get from water. Like we eat food for nutrients, but we drink water to hydrate our bodies. You really want to make sure you hear like a squishy sound, like the sound of sneakers that are soaking wet and it squishes when you walk in them. That's what you want to hear when you go and you scrunch up with your hair. That has been achieved. And now I am actually going to finger coil my hair to try to get maximum definition. So still upside down. I'm going to take small sections, small to medium size. You don't want your sections to be too large or you're gonna get huge clumps that will take a very long time to dry and they're not gonna look as nice when you separate them. So I'm going to take small instructions and up and away from my head, I am just finger coiling them. You can see. And putting it to the side. And I'm just gonna do that all over my head as best as I can. I definitely will miss spots. I think that's kind of inevitable, but if I miss spots, I can just kind of go back in later with my refresh spray and um, fix them. And if you haven't checked out my refresh spray, you should, and I will link to that video down below. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna take a moment to say that if you like this video and the videos I'm making, you should think about, no, no. You should absolutely hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so you can stay notified whenever I post a new video. And I'm saying this while my hair is dripping wet and I'm in the middle of finger coiling, so like, you really should do it. Okay, back to finger coiling. I know this sounds crazy also, but the more you do this, the better you'll get at it and the faster it'll go. Okay, I'm actually just gonna turn the water off for this because I'm wasting water. But I will need water again, so I don't recommend actually getting out of the shower unless you have a, like a Flarisol bottle. Hey guys, so my camera died and I had to switch to my phone. So hopefully this kind of looks the same and you can still see everything. But anyway, I finished finger coiling my hair. Um, so you can see, this is what it looks like. And now I am actually just going to go back in the shower again. Oh, that is so cold. Oh my God. 
and I'm actually just gonna scrunch a little more water and a little more gel into my hair. And when you do this, you just wanna be gentle. Any friction, too much touching and tossing is going to create frizz. And while I don't mind frizz, I know I'm going to get it at the end, so I'm gonna to try to minimize how much frizz I have at this point in my wash routine. Taking a little more of my gel, kind of took a glob, and I'm just scrunching up. Then I take a little more for the other side. And just like a tad more water. So at this point, I recommend just letting the product sit on your hair for a few minutes. You, you want your hair to absorb as much product and water as it possibly can. Um, so I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes and then I am going to gently, very gently scrunch with my my soigne, obviously, microfiber towel. Alright guys, so it's been a few minutes. I'm just kind of like dancing around in the shower. And now I'm going to take my microfiber towel and I am just going to scrunch up. And I'm not going to squeeze because I'm trying to actually tousle my hair around as little as possible. So I'm just scrunching up gently and holding it there for a minute. Like I said, we're just getting out any excess liquid or product that our hair doesn't absorb. Your hair will absorb a different amount based on its porosity. Um, so if you guys are interested in a video about porosity, um, let me know in the comments. So now I am going to diffuse my hair. I am using the My Soigne diffuser. Again, obviously, if you don't already know, this diffuser is made out of silicone and is nice and portable because it collapses. Um, the nice thing about it collapsing is that it can also mold to the side of your head, which I'll show you in a minute when I blow dry my hair. And you can actually get up to your roots. So I obviously recommend it. Like I recommend all my products. To diffuse, I'm going to use low power and the cool setting. You can get heat damage from blow dryers if you use hot air. So you're going to use cold air or cool air. Um, if you really can't stand cool, you could use medium, but don't damage your hair. So again, everything is done upside down. From styling in the shower to the blow dryer. So I finished diffusing my hair, I am getting dressed, I really didn't want to be in that soaking wet t-shirt and bathing suit anymore. So I am getting dressed and I am going to go about my day. My hair is pretty dry, it's obviously not 100% dry, but it is maybe like 75%, 80% dry. Um, dry enough so I can put my clothes on and I can go do whatever I need to do, um, which will be work on editing this video. I will come back when my hair is 100% dry so that I can, so that I can show you how I scrunch out the crunch um, and fluff for volume and then we'll be all done. So I will see you guys in a little bit. And we're back. So my hair is dry. I did diffuse a little bit more just because I was trying to hurry this process up. Um, but now that my hair is dry, it doesn't really have too much of a cast, maybe like a very light cast. 
Um, and since I'm going to go in and get rid of any crunch that's there, whether it's soft or not, and separate my clumps and just kind of toss my hair around to try to get volume. I'm going to make sure I have oil on my hands. So you can use jojoba oil, you can use olive oil, you can use really any oil you have on hand. Um, it doesn't need to be fancy, it just needs to be oil. I am going to put a little bit on my hand, I got maybe uh, that much. <laughs> and I am just going to go in and scrunch the oil in. Now I am just going to go in and look for curl clumps that I can pull apart because as my curls stack on top of one another, that will help create volume. And I'm just gonna kinda go in and massage my scalp a little bit. And again, like flip my hair around because volume. So just gonna Gently pull that into two curls. Okay, so I've separated a bunch of the curl clumps. I'm gonna take a little more oil and I am going to rub it between my hands and flip my hair upside down and just kind of pull away with my hair a little bit. Alright guys, so there you have it. That's my wash day routine using my Swanee hair products, my Swanee microfiber towel, and my Swanee diffuser. Here are my results. So that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That will mean everything to me. And if you're feeling extra spontaneous, you can just hit that little bell icon in the top of your screen and you will be notified every time I post a new video. And who wouldn't want that? Also, let me know in the comments if you have tried finger coiling and how it worked out for you, or just tell me what you do for your wash day. That's it for now, guys. See you soon. Bye.